fellas. It's nice to finally get you guys on the phone. Look, I want to keep it simple. I know how much work you guys have put into raising money for our, your chapter down there and all you've done for Ducks Unlimited. As a thank you, I want to invite you out west to shoot some ducks. I think it'll be awesome. You'll get to see a new part of the country and make some new friends. I always think about this when I'm really cold or really hot in Florida. <laughs> I really, I don't know why I like it so much. It's kind of just like addicting, you know. Just the whole chase, I, I love the chase. Like, sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. And the days you don't get them, kind of makes you go back. It makes you hungry to go get them more. So, I think it's just the chase. When I'm out there in nature, I feel really connected to God. Like, I think I pray way more in the blind than I do anywhere else and I can really enjoy like what God's given us and I feel really connected to him there. This weekend was about investment into the next generation of outdoorsmen. Nick and Diego have put an extreme amount of hard work into all that they've done for Ducks Unlimited and what we want to show is paying it forward not backward. And what we expect is a chain reaction that'll help us continue to grow and strengthen the bond in the community of Ducks Unlimited. So we brought people from all over, Florida, Georgia, Colorado. We put everybody together, never met. We're gonna go have a good time. Okay, so what we got going on is we got all the boys over here setting up blinds and everything, getting ready to go in here on a bunch of ducks. We're gonna go over here to a staging spot, kind of carry everything in there. We're gonna set up and we're gonna move the ducks off. We're gonna go ahead and get set up real quick, get ready to go and just wait for them to get back in on us. It's gonna be pretty sweet. Let's go check out this staging spot. It's been real cold, so this time of year, you know, it's probably nine o'clock in the morning right now, but it really doesn't matter too much because there's not a whole lot of open water. So they're obviously gonna come back to open water. And with it being cold, it's actually better to give a little time Make sure you get things right the first time so when we go in here and move them off, we can be ready for them to come right back, have a good solid shoot. Sounds good. Okay, boys. Let's go shoot some ducks, huh? Yeah. Let's freaking do it. Get ready Let's freaking do rock. it. It's get ready to rock. As soon as we jump in, we're going to start killing birds, okay? Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for letting us come out and enjoy this beautiful day. All these guys and your beautiful creation. May our shots stay true and dogs stay steady and all of us have a good time and do what is most important in enjoying each other's company. Let's have a day, boys. In Jesus' name, amen. Yep, on the right. Get him, Michael. Get him. That <laughs> boy, Fossey! That one was dirty. See him? Okay, shoot him. Shoot that green color. Minnie! Good shooting, boys! There we go, breaking the ice a little. So while we were on this duck hunt, we learned a lot about what made their high school chapter successful. It was really fun to hear the stories and all the good memories that they've shared while raising money for something that they care so much about. Nick, when you thought of coming out west, is this what you thought of? No, I didn't think it'd be this good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I really care for all these um, different marsh habitats and like the area we're in right now. And like I said before, I just really want my grandkids and my kids to be able to do the same thing I was and to be able to hunt ducks in the same population or even with higher numbers than, than I've seen. So that's my primary reason for doing all this. Ready? Diego, right here in the hole. Kill him, kill him. Holding it down over here on the end? Mm -hmm. Are you shooting birds down here on the end? Trying to. Trying to? Yeah. Be ready, fellas. Be ready. Got him. Get that green hat getting out. <laughs> that was so dirty. That was sick. <laughs>
nice, bud. Good girl, man. <laughs> Nice. Mini. Oh, we got two. Good work. Good work, Mr. Foster. I don't think that was me. No? Two drakes. Shoot the two drakes. Shoot the two drakes. I'm just, I'm kind of in awe seeing so many birds, especially birds we don't get back at home. Like these geese and the mallards. That was just super cool to see. And in such numbers, it's amazing. We are chipping away at them. Singles, doubles, just had a quadruple, smoked all four, three off. First thing is just to keep this, keep what you know I'm able to do, go duck hunting here in Florida, you know, keep it for as many generations as possible. So not only like my family members, like when I pass and like all my kids and you know my great grandkids, they can have it, but for all the people to experience this and more people to get into the outdoors than they are already. This Mini. Storming. Yeah, that was sick. Someone shoot that green head. Cold there, bud? So, yeah, a little bit. Is that a hand what, warmer? What is the technique you're so, using? Hot hands. Good way to heat up your nose if you're ever cold. <laughs> Does it, heating your nose build your performance out here in the duck line? Like, what is For heating sure. your nose do? Heating my nose um, makes it makes it my face stick on the gun a little better. <laughs> you can smell the ducks from a little further away. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Pretty legit. Shot my first ever duck today. First ever green head. First ever. You think you got a couple today? I think I got a couple. Maybe five or so? Yeah. Heck yeah. We love killing ducks. We wrapped up our duck hunt in about four hours. We are shooting about an eight man of green heads, which is something that all of us will never forget. It was incredible. So we went out. We went to take a picture, and while we were taking a picture, we look over and notice all these geese in this field. And we were like, man, can this be the cherry on top? Well, we're getting set up to uh, hopefully shoot some geese. What are we doing with these tumbleweeds? What's our game plan? Uh, we're gonna blind these in along this fence on the opposite side of us so hopefully the geese don't see us. Nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs>
we're just sucking right in here. We make shift blind, we run over here, and we just think, well, we'll just jump in the field real quick, see what happens. And they are just doing it. Dirty. Started off the morning a little late, <laughs> but we were able to get in on some uh, some good mallards, and now we finish up the day with some Imagine geese. If you stayed down south, Jack Jack. I know. Imagine if I had stayed at home, I wouldn't be here. You don't say. That's the obvious. <laughs> hey, it's been what? an awesome day. I can't really wrap my head around it. <laughs> What's that one? <laughs> We have the geese lined up in the field and they just smoke another one. Good job, boys. Good job, baby. No, I've never seen anything like that. That was my first field hunt, too. So that was a great experience. That, when I saw them coming in, that was like one of the most exciting things I've ever done, probably. I mean, I'm happy to hunt anywhere, but this trip really blew my expectations. Like, yeah. The steam rolling off cold water, quivers of anticipation from steady duck dogs, silence surrounding kindred souls while the sunlight slowly begins to peer over treetops. While there may be no one clean answer to why we hunt waterfowl, the simple flicker of wings beating over decoys keep us all coming back time after time to etch memories in our minds alongside whomever we call companions. Super cool to see how the different ways to duck hunt. So I think that was really cool and I, I was just kind of in awe. Tell us where you're from and how old are you? So my name is Nick. I'm 18, uh, seven. Restart! <laughs> cut, cut. Can't even get through the first name part. <laughs> just kidding. This is the hardest one. It's the hardest question. It's the hardest question. The rest are easy.